welcome to Heavy Psych Sounds Festival here in Berlin and be new. I'm here with uh, Monolord from Sweden. Uh, first of all, guys, how are you doing tonight here in Berlin? Oh, Berlin is always nice, so it's pretty good. That's good. Very good. Yeah, do you know the city already or is it your first time playing here? How many times have we played here? <laughs> we played here a few times, yeah. 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 A bunch of times. Yeah, you are playing uh, two gigs back to back here and dressed. And uh, what are your thoughts about this festival? It's a cool like thing when do it in like two cities. It's it's a pretty good thing, I think. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems pretty hectic. Uh, two cities, two days, and uh, the usual hectic hectic side of a festival. So, do you have any time to see other bands or enjoy the festival? That's like being on tour. That's like New CD in the day, but three weeks on end. So this is nothing in comparison. <laughs> Super easy. Uh, can you talk? A bit Hello, more this is me talking yeah. to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so uh, how was yesterday in Dresden? It was good. It was yeah. um, we played at that venue before, uh, and uh, the last time we were there, how many years ago? Three years ago, maybe. Yeah, something like that was pretty run down and pretty beat up place but now they have uh, done some major renovations there so it's it's pretty cool place okay and what makes a good live gig for you guys what makes a a good live gig uh, what makes a good live gig yeah like a responsive crowd is always nice you can see that crowd knows the songs or uh, yeah it's a good good vibe good energy always makes a often makes a good show yeah. okay about the audience uh, what kind of experience should the monolord gig be that's impossible to rebut <laughs> i don't know what kind of uh, mosh like pit <laughs> yeah, we've had some mosh pits yeah. lately actually it's yeah. seems super weird on a the type of music we play all of a sudden you see the crowd moving like this out there it's like okay what's happening uh, but it that happens fine that's great yeah la last show in was it in la mm -hmm. was a pretty so, yeah. crazy yeah. That, was, that was intense yeah so intense hopefully that's the word okay so la you talking about that you just did the extensive u.s tour uh how did that tour go in uh it was very good. It's uh, you could really notice that uh, the audience has been growing there, and uh, like you brought up the mosh pits, we had mosh pits like almost every night there, and so it was uh, f fun to see. Yeah. Okay, and you mentioned the touring life. So, what kind of tour life does Monolord live? Oh, it's uh, eight it's, hours in the van. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> Pretty much. Exactly. I mean the yeah. Daily you routines, you drive, you sleep, you eat, and then it's showtime, and then you repeat. Okay, so or not less. not like a crazy party every night. That's impossible. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be completely impossible. Yeah, it's impossible <laughs> because like like we we play every night, so it's like it, it would just kill us in a week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you have said that your creative process is uh, people from. Uh, different musical backgrounds clashing against each other. So what are your musical backgrounds, first of all? Um, I've been playing in bands since I was like 11 or 12. Not really serious bands, but that's when I started playing in bands. And then uh, played everything from doom to rock to surf rock to a lot of stuff. So um yeah and monolord is um uh yeah the the most if you can measure success it's the most successful band i've had so yeah yeah same for me too like i've been playing since in bands since i was like 12. so like everything from uh like darker country music to like grindcore and stuff like that so. it's about the same for me my first band was when I was thinking about it. I think it was 13 or 14 uh, and then it's been all kinds of styles along the way actually my first 
real proper band sounded a little bit like what we do today. So it's kind of full circle with Malo. Kind of weird, but but fun. It was like 25, 90 years ago. 90 years ago. Yeah, yeah ish. Give or take five years. Yeah. Okay, so where do your individual inspirations come from then? Uh, what does it in reality mean when you say that uh, your uh, three different perspectives clash? It, I, I think guess. it's super hard to define in a few sentences. I mean, we all come from different places, but at the same time, we we meet in this band a lot. So we, of course, we, of course, we have things in common. If we didn't, this band wouldn't exist. But I mean, uh, I think it's hard to, to describe. It's hard to. I mean, you listen a lot to country music. I don't. Everything depressing. <laughs> I listen to everything depressing as well. Yeah. Except for country music, <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's. Uh, I mean, it's hard to summarize. I think I get a lot of uh, inspiration from uh, movies and TV series. That sometimes I find like a, something like a, you know a character say, and and sometimes they, they that that small sentence can be the start of a song because. I write down like small lines of stuff in my phone all the time and then I can bring it up a, a month or two or three later and it could be like the start of a song. So inspiration can like come from all over. I just thought of a good way to compare actually. When we get asked to make the best of the year lists, which we do, when we make them individually, you can really see the difference in what we thought the best releases of this year was, which I think is super interesting. It's like my my ten favorite albums is not the same as Meek and Sonas and vice versa. But I think that's it's a good thing. Okay, looking forward to those lists then. Uh, misanthropy seems to be a big theme for you. So uh, is is there a message first of all in your music, and is it the one of hope or hopelessness then? I think it's it's both. Uh, sometimes the lyrics can be pretty. It's not a like a positive view of life, but at the same time, there's some like hope in there. Uh, I think, but yeah, it's like the we the things that we have in common is the. Uh, hate for all kinds of religion so that is one big theme uh, lyrically um, so yeah I don't know really there is some kind of catharsis in that as well I think getting that out getting that misanthropy out there just like a safety valve getting it out of the system yeah, not, not like as much that it's a message in the in music. It's more like like a way of coping. The, yeah, exactly. The, exactly. The yes. Yeah. Life that like we all are in. So. Okay. Uh, what do you see as the world's biggest problems then at the moment? Humans. No, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> what he said. Yeah. Humans, stupidity, religion, power. Yeah. Money. Selfishness. Okay, uh, how do you uh, write your lyrics then? Uh, who writes them and uh, how do they? I, I write most most of it, and as I said, it's it's a mix between uh, writing down lines from movies or whatever. Uh, but I don't know. It's sometimes uh, the ly lyrics can come from from that or just. Sometimes a, you have a riff and the lyrics just write itself because I don't know. It's sometimes it's really easy and sometimes it's really hard. But um, yeah, I think I think most the latest album the it's been it's a lot of religion in there and a lot of like people denying climate change and just don't care and that's why we're fucked because no one cares enough or the ones with money do doesn't care enough 
Okay, and uh, what's next for Mono Lord? What is the future plan? Uh, sleep. Yeah. To sleep. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, what for, about in a broader sense? Now that, as you oh, said, oh, that's uh, a broader sense. Yeah. yeah. That's just sleep. <laughs> this is the first time we're actually <laughs> taking a time off. We're we're taking like six months off from touring and just sleeping. Yeah. Say that again. Sleep. Uh, sleep. I like it. Oh, I like it. I like it when you say sleep. So we're go, uh, not going to do anything after this until like May or June. Okay, have so, you uh, thought about any ideas for a new album yet? or? No, not really. We were going to probably try some new stuff out, but we haven't decided anything yet. So we're going to take it as it comes a little bit. Keep it open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so no extra uh, pressure from uh, like success of the, of the last album or? No, no not really. I think we, we might do something, you know, um, we when we recorded the album, we left one song that didn't fit uh, on the album. So we might do something with that or we might not. I have no idea. But uh, except from that, we're not going to play anything unless something really, really like. Reunion of Slayer. <laughs> to open for the Slayer reunion, it's the it's the only thing we're gonna do. Okay, thank you very much, and break a leg tonight. And I guess sweet dreams after that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much.